Hey guys, how are we doing today? Today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to do this earring right here. It's called a succulent earring. What you simply need is a 2.5 millimeter hook, some embroidery floss. Of course, this fish hook earring, you can get that at any craft store. I'm just look in um, where you can do how to make jewelry. And of course, that'll be there. And that's basically it. And then the yarn needle. Well, actually, embroidery needle, excuse me. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll get this started. Simply get yourself a cup of coffee and we'll be right on it. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll do that slip knot on the hook itself. We'll follow through and do a chain two. After that chain two, we will then go ahead and do a total of five single crochets in that second chain from the hook. Hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, it's nice and breezy here in Florida this time of the month or time of the year. November it starts up. Uh, we're having a, a storm nearby, so of course it's going to be a little extra windy. Okay, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do. Go ahead and hit that button. Show me some support. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, here's that fifth single crochet that we just did. Okay, you can either do a slip knot on the top of the first of the single first single crochet, if you so, so choose to, or you can just do like how I'm doing right here. It's entirely up to you. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll do a total of four chains. I don't know if any of you have worked with embroidery floss before, but I just recently started doing this, uh, making jewelry, so it's really tedious. The um, thread seems to separate very easily. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll do a slip stitch in that first, well actually, excuse me, the second chain from the hook. Got that, that slip stitch. Okay, then we'll go ahead and we'll do single crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, we'll attach our work in the next chain. By doing a slip stitch. And then we'll go ahead and we'll do another chain four. Here's three. Oops. And here's four. There's a slip stitch going in that second chain. And then we're going to go ahead and proceed and do a single crochet in the next two chains. And we'll simply attach it in the next chain. Okay, we'll repeat that process another three more times. Okay, I will see you at the end. Okay, as you can see, it looks like a sea star or a starfish, whatever you want to call it. We'll just simply do a slip stitch. And then, of course, cut a fairly decent piece to go ahead and sew on to whatever it is that you're wanting to put it on. And we'll weave in that little end that we see here. Oops, excuse me. We'll go ahead and weave that in real quick. Okay, in our next step, we'll go ahead and do that slip knot on the hook again. Simply do a chain two. Oops. See how I'm saying how it just separates? <laughs> tell you, it gets to be a pain in the butt sometimes. All right, here's the chain two. Next, in that second chain, we'll do a total of three single crochets.
All right, next step, we're going to do a chain three. Okay, in that second chain, we'll do a slip stitch. And the last stitch will be a single crochet. And we will attach it to the next stitch. Okay, we'll repeat that two more times to have a total of three leaves. Okay, I will see you again at the end of that round. Okay, as you can see here, it's kind of a little odd shaped. It just has three leaves, which is no big deal. Okay, we'll do that slip stitch, which I've already done. And we'll go ahead and we'll leave a little bit of a tail so we can hand sew in to the tops of this. Okay, I'll show you that here in one second. Now, if you're not really familiar with using an embroidery needle along with this embroidery floss, uh, I'm just going to give you a heads up. If the eye of the needle is just way too small for you, <laughs> uh, I wouldn't use any other needle because uh, the head of the needle itself will destroy the uh, yarn or whatever, the floss. I'm just kind of giving you that heads up. Not to be gross or anything like that, but I suggest that you take maybe a wet paper towel or something like that and just kind of wet the end a little bit because it, uh, um, trust me, it will be a little pain in the butt to get in there because it will separate. Okay, just simply take your bigger part of the succulent and just simply, at no rhyme or reason, just simply attach it on there. Just hand sew it in. I just basically go in and out this way instead of going along the edges. Just kind of eye it to make it look more like a succulent. So uh, it's the only way I could say the best way to do it because you don't want it to be sewed completely flat on. You want it to have that three-dimensional structure as you can see here. So that's why I go in and out this way how like I'm doing right now. Just trying to avoid having to sew in that very end. Okay, I have a technical difficulty so I will get right back to you in one second. Okay, I'm back. This is fairly easy to uh, shape. As you can see, I'm just simply going along the edge there. No rhyme or reason. Just be creative. Let your creative side come out. All right, I just simply leave it as is. I don't sew in the end right now. And the reason being is because, uh, first of all, I want you to just see how like I'm pulling on it right now to kind of make the end come up a little bit. That's what I want you to do. Because I'm sure we're gonna need that thread later on in this video. Okay, go ahead and attach the bigger part simply by threading the needle. Oops. Okay, I'll get back right to you in just one second. Okay, sorry about that. Just had a little hard time getting that needle <laughs> to cooperate. Okay, now the next step is I'm just basically going to scrunch it up like that. Just kind of fold it into that succulent shape.
Next I just take the needle itself and try to maneuver all these little end pieces just for a moment and just simply sew right straight across like that so to help get its shape is basically what we're doing here because of the thread being the way it is it's not really visually seen so that's a good thing okay once we get that done we'll go to the next step all right what I simply did was just weave in those other two ends but the first step where we had done the very top part I went ahead and left that because I wanted to open this up and see how it looks I think it basically looks okay just the way it as is just kind of fill it around with it just kind of move it around no no rhyme or reason is how I know I keep repeating myself on that thing but I just want everyone to have fun you know don't worry about small stuff you know just have fun just kind of shape it is as is okay now I'll go ahead and I'll sew this other in and I'll get right back to you alright the next step is going to be where you would get a uh, little bit darker of a uh, embroidery floss and just simply go along the edges I don't know if you can see here on this finished product here I just simply went along the edges to give it a little highlights because if you remember how the succulents look they do have different shades and I want to say it's probably some brown in there too but unfortunately I didn't have brown on hand so I don't have that available to show you okay what we'll simply do is excuse me I'm gonna go ahead and move that bag of floss out of the way <laughs> just no rhyme or reason just take your needle and go along the edge I went ahead that's right I forgot how I did the other one excuse me I went ahead and started on the bottom and just kind of weaved it in so this way it gives it a little more of a secure post or whatever you want to say and I just simply came up on the leaf I'm just gonna whatever flows I'm just gonna do it okay here's where I ended up the very top layer so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up okay make sure you don't pull it all the way through that's for sure because then you'll wasted your whole time doing that okay go ahead and stop right there and just simply going along the edge of the leaf itself. Just simply do it maybe two, three times. This way it fills it in. Make sure you don't grab any other leaf along with. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm up my camera. Just make sure you don't sew two leaves into one. Not wanting to do that. Trust me, I've done it already which isn't a fun thing to do okay I'm going to go ahead and stop at this one I'm going to go on to my next leaf and how I did that was I just hid my thread okay what's going on here there we go see how it just highlights the leaf along the edge there Okay, I just simply weaved in to where you're not able to see the, the embroidery floss and went on to the next leaf. I just grab, go ahead and just grab this bigger one over here and I'm going to do that one. Alright, for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and put you on pause. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to attach this fish hook. Okay, what I do is just simply use the same color of the main, the main color, excuse me, the uh, neon green. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure both ends are equal. And make it into a knot, just like how you would do when you're sewing with regular sewing thread. Okay, once you get that knot secured, 
make sure both sides are even onto the needle and what I did was I just simply went in the back here if I can grab it correctly just kind of you know a good distant amount of course it's going to be a little hard probably and just pull it all the way up till you get to that knot Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and just trim that so it looks pretty. Okay, next we'll just go ahead and attach the fish hook simply by going into that little eye right there. Me personally, I thought at first I would have it be really close to the actually succulent itself, but I decided to pull it away from it just, just a little bit. Just simply hold on to it along with the succulent itself and just sew in your thread. Oops. Okay, how you see how you got a little see how it's separate a little bit? Okay, that's exactly what you're wanting. Okay, to finish that off, I went ahead and sewed in my, well, th thread my needle through again. And this time I'm going to skewer it off with a knot. Sometimes that needle tends to have a hard time going through. You simply do the best you can and pull it through. Alright, pull it all the way through, making sure that you leave just a little loop so then you could make that knot. Pass your needle through. Okay, that's your first knot. Now you're going to do it one more time to help secure it in better. Okay, pull the needle through, leave that little loop, place your needle through that loop, and finish off your knot. Okay, very good. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and trim that to make it look nice and presentable. Okay, just forgive me for the interruption in the background, and only that, this little piece right here. But like I say, for time's sake, I'm just kind of rushing it a little bit so this way we can go ahead and finish this video. Okay, just kind of shimmy it around a little bit. Put it into its shape. And then there you have it. You have a pair of succulent earrings. Okay, I, oops. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. Be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you. Have a good day.